Hey guys, more Blakey here and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how we can create a simple tile map and paint dynamic tiles that will automatically change to the correct tile depending on its surroundings. So stay tuned. Quick note, I've got some big videos coming to the main channel so be sure to check those out in the description. Now let's get started. So in this scene as you can see all I have is a main camera which is just a flat background colour. And I'm going to be starting from scratch. I'm going to be showing you how we can grab a tile map asset. We can divide it into its individual tiles and then we can paint those tiles. And then I'm going to show you how we can use a system called rule tiling to have them automatically change as we paint. So the first thing I'm going to do is right click in our hierarchy, go to 2D object, tile map, and then rectangular. Now, if I go to my scene view here, I've got a little tab down here that says open tile palette. If I press on this, I get this tab right here. This is where we're going to drag in tiles that we can select and paint with. So let's go and create new palette. We can just call this grass and then just press create save it to a folder and now we can get assets from our project folder and drag them in. Now for this video I'm going to be using a ready-made tile map from itch.io but if you want to make your own a good software to do this is Asprite. It's pretty cheap and you can make pixel art very efficiently with it. Now this is a much more basic tile map than what I'll be using for this video but this is a tile map I made for a project last year and a great way to clearly differentiate between separate tiles is using grids within softwares like these. In Asprite I can enable the grid and set it to show every 16 by 16 pixels, making it easy to paint individual tiles and see what they look like next to each other. You can then simply import this as a PNG image and drag it directly into Unity. Now I'm going to be using an asset folder known as Dirt and Grass 2D Platform Tile Set by Axel Arts. I may have said their name wrong. I'm going to leave a link to this art asset in the description if you want to follow along. So as you can see, this is the image. It is all of your tile maps curated into one image. And the first thing we need to do is individualize these tiles. So what I'm going to do on the image itself, let's firstly set the sprite mode to multiple. And because we're working with pixel art, we need to set the filter mode to point, no filter, and make sure there is no compression on this image. Now we can hit apply and finally sprite editor. And this will bring up the image in a sprite editor so we can start to divide these tiles. So what you want to do is go to slice and then change the type from automatic to grid by cell size. Now for me, this art asset is 16 by 16. So each tile is 16 by 16 pixels. So when we're slicing, we want to divide our tiles every 16 on the X and Y axes. Your tiles you're using may be different, but when I hit slice here, you can see we get these little grids here, which do make it very easy to visualize. So that is a big help. So from there, I can hit apply and close this in our window. Now, if we go to our tile map, press on that tile palette again to open this. And now we can actually select this image and just drag it directly in to our palette. And once it is officially loaded, it will individualize your single asset into individual assets here. Now for me, it is also gonna use these blue tiles as well. We are not gonna be using these because we have a background here. So we can just focus on these ones here. So now if I was to select one of these tiles to paint with, say this middle one here, you can see that as I paint, the squares are very small. And the reason for that is because if we scroll up here and go to our actual tile set asset, we have the pixels per unit to 100. So that is making these tiles way too small. Because these are set to 16 by 16 pixels, we need this to be set to 16 as well to ensure the full tile will fit in each square exactly. So if we set this to 16 here and hit apply, you can see it fleshes out very nicely and that is much better. So now I could paint along here like this, but obviously doing it like this can be very time consuming. So this is where rule tiling comes in. Now to download these tile map extras, we can do it from our package manager. Now, if you go to your Unity registry, you won't actually find it here. What we need to do is enable preview packages so it will show up. So let's go to our little cog in the top right here of our package manager, then advanced project settings. And then in our advanced settings here in our package manager, we can enable preview packages. You might get a little warning, just ignore that. And then in our Unity registry, you can see we have these 2D tile map extras. So I can install this here. And now that is done installing. So now from here in our assets folder, let's right click, go to create, then 2D, then to tiles. And you can see now we have a bunch of new options for what we can do with our tile maps. So what we're gonna be using is rule tile. So click on this and create a new rule tile. We can just call this grass rule tile. And now from here, we have a few new options. So I'm gonna lock this inspector so I can open our assets here. So now for the default sprite, feel free to drag in any of these, it doesn't really matter. And what we're gonna be doing is dragging in each tile that we're gonna use into our tiling rules here. So if I press add on this list, I can drag in this grass tile on the left. So I'm gonna select it and drag it in. And you can see at the moment, this is what the grass rule tile would look like as we've added no rules to how it interacts with its environment. But currently, if we made any changes to this, we would not see it, as what these tiles we have in here are simply from these tiles. They are not our rule tiles. So what we need to do firstly is go to our tile map, get our tile palette open, and our grass rule tile here, we can drag it into the tile palette as well. So now let's select our eraser here and just remove all of this. And now we can paint with this, our rule tile. So if I just painted like this a square, you can see 
this isn't exactly how we would want a tile map to look. And now we can assign some rules to this. So what this means here, you can see this changes the tile map depending on what we select. So a green arrow means that we can have another tile here. So if another tile is here, but there is not a tile here, here or here, that means this could be the right one. So we need to set this so a tile can go here to the right of it, above it and below it, but not to the left of it. And that is perfect. This is where these two tiles should be, but they shouldn't be anywhere else. And of course, the other tiles are just this blue sprite because that is what the default sprite is here. So now I'm going to put in some more tiles and give them some rules so we have more tiles to work with. I'm going to speed up this process, but then I'm going to show you what mine look like so you have a nice simple template to follow. A good tip I have here is when you have your locked inspector tab, duplicate it and dock it directly next to the current one. Then when you select your individual tiles, you can see exactly what tile that is in a higher quality without having to second guess speed this looks how it should and what's really cool about this is that you can start to see how they're going to auto tile if i grab my tile palette here and grab the brush and i select this auto tile i can simply add on the end of it and it will automatically tile which is very very cool so now we are very nearly there all i want to do is alter these corners here so we have some grass corners just to make this look a little bit smoother on the corners so that is what i'm going to do next so the reason that these aren't showing is down to the way rule tiling works. And there is a very simple fix for this. It's due to how prioritization works in rule tiling. Because we can reorder these, the highest ones have priority, meaning that this tile right here, which is the middle one, one like this, for example, that sticks out in all directions, is currently overwriting this one because this tile here is technically true as it can go up, down, left and right. So it is not putting this one in place. So what we need to do is drag this one right to the bottom, just like that. And you can see all of a sudden they pop up. So now the last thing I want to do, I'm just going to add in a few more tiles from our tile set because as you can see, if I drag it out like this, we still have a few issues. So I'm going to go ahead and fix those right now. Okay, so I've officially finished adding all of the tiles. You can see it works absolutely perfect. If you want to pause the video and take a screenshot of these rule tiles, feel free to do so. I'll just scroll through this for you. Of course, there is way more from this pack that you could add or from your own tile set that you have created. So feel free to do that as well. But that just about wraps it up for this video, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did and stay tuned for future uploads. If there's any tutorials you have to request, I have a form in the description down below. If you want to support the channel, I do also have a Patreon in the description. But apart from that, guys, I will thank you all very much for watching today's video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.